Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on making an acrylic cake topper. These are the materials that you're going to be needing. A sponge brush, acrylic paint, scraper, and a weeding tool. Let's get started planning. First, I'm going to select a new project from in the corner. Then, I'm going to go to the left and select the circle shape. And I'm going to resize it to 5 inches, which is the size of the acrylic cake topper. Now I'm going to be changing the color just to make it a little bit easier to see the font when I put it on the template. Next you're going to select text from the left and you're going to type in whichever number you would like. Any fonts that I used I will be listing in the description below. This new bookmark feature is a great way to find all your favorite fonts. Once you have typed out what you want your cake topper to say, it's just time to resize it to make sure it fits on the cake topper. Once you're finished adjusting everything, it's now time to make it. So hit make in the right hand corner. Then select whichever matte type you're going to be using. This is the time when you can adjust the mat size and also move around the different elements on the mat. Once you're done, follow the prompts on the bottom of the screen. This part is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to remove the film from the cake topper and then paint it whatever color you'd like. Now it's time to weed out all the vinyl you'll be using on your cake topper. I do this on top of a self-healing mat. This thin font was giving me a really hard time. If you guys have any tips or tricks with working with thin fonts, leave them down in the comments below. I let the topper dry overnight and added a coat of Mod Podge to seal the paint. So I already applied my transfer tape and I'm just using the scraper tool to make sure that the vinyl sticks to the transfer tape.
this is the final product i hope you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful give me a like and subscribe for more beginner friendly tutorials until my next video bye guys